What's up, Survivor Fanatics? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Subsistence. This is going to be episode one. This is going to be season three, episode one. All right. So there's been an update for Subsistence that has uh, really changed the way the AI hunters are going to be... Uh, the way we're going to be dealing with the AI hunters, so we did have to start a new game. Cold Game said we're going to have to start a new game, so we started a new game. Um, I'm just going to continue because I started the new game. I didn't do anything in it. We're going to go from day one. Uh, you know, for the first few seasons of this Let's Play, I'm going to show a lot of the, you know... I'm going to be showing a lot of the grind, but as time goes on, I will show less and less of the grind because, you know, it's just the grind. But I like to show you the grind as much as possible without boring you to death, and I do have some things to talk about today uh, during the grind, so I will get right to it. Uh, first of all, you guys should go back and check out Seasons 1 and 2 to see how this game has been developing, uh, in case you're not aware of what this game is. Uh, Subsistence is a sandbox first-person open-world survival game. Uh, right now, it only has single-player. But that is going to change. Uh, Cold Games, the, the dude who developed this game, is only one man uh, with a full-time job outside of this. And uh, this is like a labor of love for him. Uh, he is eventually going to be adding multiplayer. I have been harping on him mercilessly. Mercilessly. Whatever. I've been, I've been harping on him <laughs> about uh, multiplayer. I feel bad for the guy. Um, well, I feel good and bad. I mean, you know... He just, he just put this game out live on Steam, like, uh, last week, and, uh, it's been doing pretty good, you know, like, it's, it's got very positive ratings on Steam, which is really awesome, uh, and, you know, it's a lot of fun, uh, a lot of people cannot wait for multiplayer, though, that is, that is a big thing, um, anyway, back to what the game's about. Uh, currently in single player with multiplayer and development, struggle to build a base gear up in a hostile environment, defend yourself from wildlife and AI hunters who will build bases in the world, yeah, so... I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, bears and wolves. Oh, you know, who cares? I mean, whatever. They don't They don't mean anything. Uh, no, <laughs> this isn't Rust. This isn't, you know, some of the other games you guys are used to playing. And just for the record, I love Rust. It's just I wanted something with, with PV, PVE elements, uh, co-op elements, instead of the, the whole PvP thing. Uh, that's why I'm playing this instead of Rust. Uh, you know, it, it's not like that. The, 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 the animals in this game will ruin your face. I'm telling you, man, like, it's incredible. Like, basically, if you, like, if you start stumbling up, there's wolves and bears so far. Um, and if you stumble upon one of these animals, they will start growling. Uh, if they growl twice, they'll start stalking you. They'll start walking towards you. They, they won't, like, run it. Oh, there's one. No, that's a bunny. That's a bunny rabbit, actually. You can see right there, it's got the hit points. Um, animals in this game do have hit points, and, and uh, we're going to go ahead and make some wood planks while we're talking. Animals in this game do have uh, hit points and levels. Uh, if a bear kills you, the bear will level up. It's pretty freaking sweet. Uh, you know, so... And as they level up, they obviously get more hit points and all that stuff. We do have a pistol to start with. Uh, seven rounds. We've got a, you know, pistol full of rounds. Magazine full. And uh, we are going to spend our first day here just collecting stuff. Uh, right now, there's no points of interest in the game yet. Um, but that is okay. There will be little, you know, treasure chest lock boxes and stuff on the ground uh, we need to find. There's regular lock box. I shouldn't call them lock boxes. They're not really locked. But there's regular, you know, boxes on the ground we can we can loot, like this one right here. I'm going to loot this one right here. And then there's also boxes on the ground that are actually locked. They're called lock boxes. And they have a ton of stuff in them. Uh, a ridiculous amount of stuff. Unlike some other survival games, uh, one of your biggest problems in this game is going to be starving to death. Uh, I, my last season, I starved to death repeatedly. I might have gotten unlucky with some of my... Oh, by the way, really quickly. This is the fence that is kind of like um, holding you in this area. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a fence. Uh, so it like kind of fences in the area you're going to be, you know, playing in. Um, temporary, he's going to be expanding. As a matter of fact, I think he's already expanded it once this week and um he's going to be expanding it more as time goes on uh yeah the animals uh, yeah the animals in this game will mess you up and you will starve to death if you're not lucky enough to get the right uh types of items and if you're not smart enough or if you're not good enough with a gun you can kill the animals for their meat uh but it does take a good amount of bullets and the bullets are very limited so i tend not to not to shoot the animals too much um you know until i get a good amount of bullets uh on me but, yeah, and you just kind of want to avoid the animals, uh, collect yourself some wood. Uh, you saw me pick up some of these plant fibers. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to be uh, collecting stuff for the first day. Now, some I have been in talk with uh, Cold Games for, 
I, I realize I played this game like 10 months ago. Uh, it was before it was out on Steam. And I've been in talks with, game, with cold games on and off for, you know, about 10 months now. Uh, really chill dude. He gets back to you. I mean, I got I got a lot of love and a lot of respect for a developer who actually takes the time to talk to his community. And it's not just me. He's, uh, he's also, like, answered comments that people leave on my videos. So he's talking to you guys as well. Uh, yeah, so I've been talking to him, and I've been asking him some questions about things I wanted to know about, things I wanted to talk about during the first parts of this game, since this can be, you know, just running around and, and gathering and all that stuff. Um, first of all, I asked about the AI hunters. He said, the AI hunters will move into the, into the world once your base command unit is three days old. Um, basically, what, what you're trying to do first thing in the game, the, as soon as you can, is you're trying to make a base command unit, and that item is right here. All right, we're going to need some scrap metal, some electronic components, and some wood planks. You also need a wood foundation and a wood wall, and then the base command unit goes on the wall. Once that base command unit has been in the game for five days, however, uh, hunters will start showing up. All right. Over time, more hunter squads will move into the area. Um, I'll be adding options. This is what this is him talking to me. I'll be adding options for players to be able to configure the hunter presence in the world or turn it off altogether. So yeah, so hunters will be coming into the world. So you might think, well, you know, Cage, um, obviously you don't want to put down your base command unit, right? Like, wait, wait a little while. You can wait a little while, sure, if you feel comfortable with that. But here's the problem. If you start making, like, unless you just want to go nomad. The problem is if you die, your bag only stays there for five minutes. And there's no indication of where your bag is. So if, if I get killed right now, I'm going to spawn somewhere out randomly in the world. And my chances of actually getting back to my bag are slim to nil. So basically, if you die, you're probably going to lose everything. All right? If you start up a base, that's cool. But if you die, your base won't show up on any kind of map or anything uh, without the base command unit. So you'll, you'll have no way to get back to your base unless you just get back there, you know, just by stumbling upon it. Now, if you have the base command unit, you will see your base on the on the HUD. Like, it'll just show up like a little dot where your base command unit is. So you can always make your way back to your base. Um, if you die, though, your base command unit uh, marker will not show up for 100 seconds. So you can't just run back to it really quickly. Um, again, unless you know where it is. So base command units, yeah. I mean, if you put it up there, you're getting hunters in three days. All right. Uh, he also said, I was asking about the drop when you drop your loot. How long does it stay for? And he did he did confirm that your bag will stay on the ground for five minutes. That's uh, that's up from the uh, two minutes that it used to be, you know, when I used to play the game. <laughs> uh, so he, he's, uh, he's definitely making it a lot more, I don't want to say easy, but accessible, playable. I would use the word playable, you know? Uh, nobody wants to lose their stuff altogether. Uh, so you see right here, this is a little piece of metal you could pick up off the ground. And I think we have a pretty decent amount of wood. I think we're just going to look for boxes now. We'll probably spend our first night just with a campfire. I don't think we're going to make our base the first night. But I'm really hoping to make it by the second night. And I really want to make the base in this video. Uh, it's going to be a little difficult. I might have to cut it up. But I really don't want to have to wait for episode 2 to make my base. Although, I might not have a choice. I don't really want to cut up the video too much. I want you guys to see the farming. I want you to know what the farming's all about. And what you're going to be doing in the first you know, a couple days. And like I said, as this Let's Play goes on, as the seasons go on, um, I'll cut out more and more of the farming. As much as I can. Uh, by the way, these are nodes you can mine. I can mine them with the axe, but they take forever. So I'm not going to. I'm going to wait until I get a pickaxe. Um, yeah, but the problem is if I don't show you any of the farming, then I wouldn't be able to do the Let's Play because it's a lot of farming. It's pretty fun, though. Like, it's intense, man. It's intense. Like, you're really scared of the animals in this game. They are no joke. And I am so freaking ready for multiplayer. I just sent a message to Cold Games asking them when multiplayer is going to be ready. And um, I'm going to keep sending the messages asking them probably like once a week. You know, hey, how's that multiplayer going, coming along? You know, just to let them know. <laughs> I mean, he knows. Uh, this game is... Uh, I can't believe the uh, the reception this game got on Steam. I mean, I knew it was a good game. But, you know, these early access games are really tough sells on Steam. And people have just been loving it. Have absolutely been loving it. By the way, you need nails to craft any kind of base item. So, we're going to need a lot more nails. Yeah, doing really good on Steam, so that, that makes me happy. I should probably write a review as well. Because uh, this game's awesome. One guy, and I've mentioned this before. I'm going to mention it again. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, I only heard one growl. So, that's good. 
I don't know where it came from though. That's bad. Yeah, if you hear the first growl, come. If you, if you don't know where it's coming from, turn around and go back the way you came. All right, I got some water here. I also have some blueberries, so we're gonna mix the blueberries in the water, and we are gonna go ahead and drink it. Um, right here, if you look, you've got a hunger bar, and then you've got a proteins bar and a fruit and vegetable bar. So the game actually is smart enough to divide, you know, your hunger up to, uh, you know, into protein and fruits and vegetables because those things are very different things that will affect your body in very different ways. You could survive off one or the other, but you're gonna you're gonna have a little bit of trouble with your stamina if you don't have both. And uh, I'm gonna be a little quiet now because I need to listen for growling, like right there, freaking wolf. Alright, we got another wolf over there. He looks like he might walk this way. Let's gather materials while we can. Uh, where is he? Yeah, he's, I don't know what he's doing. Okay, there's some stuff over there. I should really be looking for just bo just just boxes. I really shouldn't be looking for any of these plants. These plants are really good. Right now, I'm getting medicinal plants uh, to make healing items. I'm also getting the other uh, the 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 fiber. The fiber can make cordage. Can need a lot of cordage. And I'm not seeing a ton of boxes, which is a little a little disconcerting. Got a bear over there. Let's try and sneak by him right here. Yeah, he's coming my way. Let's GTFO, right? Right. Okay. Okay. I'm really debating on how I want to cut this video up, but let's read some more of what Cold Games has to say. Um, I asked him about plant beds, because you can actually, once you start making your base, you can make plant beds. He said, uh, plant beds need fertilizer, water, and light to grow. Um, you can upgrade, you can upgrade it to an, in you can upgrade it to install a grow light, so you can grow plants indoor throughout the night. That will take, obviously, electricity, though. So, yeah, plant beds need water and fertilizer. Now, fertilizer, um, right now, you could just take ashes from your fireplace and use that as fertilizer. Um, or you could use chicken chicken poop. Uh, you can make it like a, an animal house. I forget what it's called. Uh, I forget what it's called. Like some kind of chicken pen type thing. And you can raise chickens. And I think rabbits too, although I'm not sure about rabbits. I know you can raise chickens though. And the chickens will actually level up in there. And, uh, you know, if you slaughter them when they're high level, you're going to get a lot of meat from them. Uh, I've been told that the that growing the chickens is not worth what you put into it because you have to feed them and then when you you know it probably takes a long time for them to, to grow up and then when they finally do you probably don't get the meat back that all the food you gave them and water was worth but you know this is a balancing act um, this game's going this game's in heavy balancing right now cold games game keeping a very close eye on people who uh, talk about the game on the steam forums uh, and also us let's players so you know, if you're let's playing this game, you know you're 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 gonna be showing cold games a lot. And uh, if you guys are, you know, having any kinds of issues, too easy, too hard. I can't imagine it's too easy. Um, so if you're starving to death all the time, if you know whatever, if you're having any kind of issues, uh, you know, let cold games know. He doesn't always agree with us, um, and he doesn't always do what we what we like, but he will listen. And uh, you know, in the end, it's his game. So if we say, oh, we want this, and he's like, nah, I don't think that really works in with my game. Then he's not going to put it in, and so be it. But um, just don't get frustrated because I'm telling you right now, he does listen. And he does care. So that is all you can ask for, really. We've got a lot of bears in the area. I don't like that at all. Uh, let's go this way. Not getting enough nails. Oh, I got a pretty decent amount of nails. I need two more of these. Getting pretty close to the base command unit. Oh, I'm really close to the base command unit, actually. You know what? Let's go ahead and make a wood foundation. And we're going to need more nails for the wall next. Is that another chest up there? One thing I would definitely like to see, Cold Games, is more protein bars in regular regular loot. Is that a... What kind of animal is that? Alright, that's just a chicken. Um, so far, the only protein bars I've gotten is in lock chests. And uh, I think that needs to be looked at. I think we should get more protein bars, personally. Oh, boy. He's on me. Okay, so you see right now he's he's stalking me. He's not running he's not running for me. He's not like he's not like, oh I'm gonna get you. But he's like stalking me. And I think he'll do that for quite a while. 
but it doesn't matter if he's not running. I'm not really that worried. Just remember, if you get, you know, stalked by some of these animals, uh, just keep that in mind because they can follow you for quite a long ways. I'm going to have to start, I'm going to have to talk a little bit less because I'm not, I'm not hearing the animals when I should. Like that bear, I shouldn't have got that close to that bear. What we got up here. So what do you guys think? Do you like me wandering around in this game? Like almost silent a lot of the times or? Oh my god, seriously. Leave me alone. I don't feel good about the, going over here, but oh god. That's a chicken or a rabbit. Man. Yeah, it's just, it's tough to keep talking because I gotta really, really pay attention, man. This game is intense. Intense. You know what I'm saying? It's intense as F. Alright, well this, the bear led me right into some, uh, some loot, so can't complain about that. Usually like to duck, so that way I don't have to look down. Alright, we got a lot of ammo there, that's good. There's three types of guns in the game right now. There's the pistol that you start with. Um, if you die before you put down the base command unit, you will start with the pistol again. If you die after putting down the base command unit, you will uh, lose the pistol. Um, you can also make a rifle and a shotgun. Oh my god, these freaking wolves. That one's really close. They're all really close. I don't like this. Yeah, I'm going back the way I came. <sighs> Don't get greedy for those chests, guys. It's not worth your life. You turn around, there'll be there'll be another chest somewhere else. Do I have any water? I don't like to eat my blueberries without water because you actually get more nutrition if you put them in the water. But yeah, I'm not getting any water, so uh, that blows. It's weird. I got a pretty good amount of water last time. Alright, can we make the wall yet? We can. Can we make the command unit? Almost. We just need one more electronic. I think I'm actually going to make the command unit tomorrow. Um, I really don't want to make it today because that extra day of preparation for the hunters could mean all the, you know, could mean everything. I don't mind the hunters killing me as long as they don't take my stuff. <laughs> uh... You know, just because the reason I'm not playing PvP is because I don't want people taking my stuff. I don't mind losing stuff. I don't get my bag or whatever. You know, I can live with that. But um, I don't want them taking my stuff. And also, you got to keep the... Oh, that's it. You got to keep the pistol easy to craft. So if we die, we can just, you know, craft another one and get back out there. Because one of the... The main problem I have with this game right now is... Well, points of interest. No points of interest is one problem. But the, a bigger problem I have with this game is that there's no... um. Uh, let's get some wood. The, the a bigger problem I have with this game is there's there's no like early game weapons. You know what I mean? There's no melee weapons. Uh, you can try and kill a bear or something with an axe, but I, I've never had any success with it. Um, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, why don't we go ahead and make a health kit? Yeah. So I mean, you could try and kill something with an axe, but I don't I don't think that's gonna work out for you too well. We got some uh, tomato seeds, by the way. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and make some cordage. Okay. Yeah, so we need, like, maybe something like a spear or bow and arrow. Um, we need early game stuff because right now it's, you know, guns or, or you're nothing or you're dead. <laughs> run away. You know what I mean? Uh, so, and for a Let's Play standpoint, I don't want to run away. That's not exciting. It makes me look like a coward and it doesn't make for a fun Let's Play. Um, but at the same time, you don't want to, you don't want bullets flying all over the place because that would just make things too easy. Um, I think a bow and arrow with, uh, you know, a spear might be a good way to go. Um, also I would, I would try, I would, I would make the hunters, like, don't start the hunters off with like shotguns and, and rifles and like, I mean, make them have pistols with like seven rounds. It's like me. And maybe every day they get a few more rounds, you know, I don't want the hunters out there looting my, my loot crates. But at the same time, like, I want them to get items so they don't start off with everything. 
I think a good way to do the hunters would start them off with seven rounds in a pistol like I do. And then maybe every day they get another, you know, seven rounds or 14 rounds or something. You know, that way it's mimicking the fact that they're hunting without taking, you know, my, <laughs> my loot crates from me. <laughs> um, okay, so what else did Cold Games have to say? Oh, you know what? Before we go into anything else Cold Games has to say, uh, Cold Games actually gave me two keys. Um, I got two keys here for giveaways. We're going to do one in this episode, episode one. And, oh my goodness, it's a rabbit. Oh God, I'm surrounded. We're going to do one. Oh, seriously, I'm freaking surrounded. All right, so we're going to give one key away. Um, oh my God. All right, hold on a sec. I got to get the hell out of here. We're going to give one key away in episode one. We're going to give one key away in episode two. What I, what I need you guys to do is if you want to be um, entered for the giveaway, all I need you to do is go down in the comment section. Uh, all I need you to do is go down in the comment section and use this word, this magical secret word, in the comment section in a sentence. Don't just say the word. That's lame. Go down there and think of some kind of fun sentence to do. It's not going to matter. If you just say the word, I'm still going to enter you in the giveaway. But, um, yeah, well, the, the secret word is hunter. Um, so go down in the comments, use the word hunter, and um, I'm going to be doing the giveaway on Sunday. Uh, these videos will be going up on Friday and Saturday, episode one, episode two. And I'm going to have a different secret word for each episode that you're going to have to leave in the comments. So I have two keys to give away. Uh, this is for the first key. And uh, go in the comments and use the word hunter. Um, good luck, guys. Uh, be doing the giveaway on Sunday. Okay, so uh, what, else did he, what else did Cold Games have to say? Uh, all right, so we're talking about these small animals. He goes, the small animals can be shot. Takes two pistol rounds. He's talking about rabbits and... and uh, Rabbits and chickens. Um, they can be shot. Two pistol rounds. I'm trying to read this and at the same time, like, not run into animals. Give me one second, guys. Alright. Takes two takes two pistol rounds to kill a chicken or a rabbit. Alright. There is a chance they will become injured. Uh, when they're injured, they can be added to the animal housing. They will heal over time and level up. Um, yeah, so they'll give more, they'll give more stuff when they're butchered if they're higher level. You can see what resources they'll put right by, uh, by hovering over them in the inventory. He says next up on the to-do list will be a water source. Um, he said it will be a build a buildable item, uh, rather than lakes, rivers, etc. Um, for now at least anyway. So it sounds like he's got some plans for rivers and lakes, but for now I'm thinking a water catch. You know, uh, yeah, he's going to have some kind of, some kind of thing we can build that will get us some kind of water, which is really, really needed. Um, I mean, for real, like also, I think you should dehydrate quicker than you starve. Uh, one thing I have problem with all of these early access games, all of these games I play, I play a ton of early access survival games and every freaking one of them, they all make you starve before you dehydrate. That needs to change, man. Like... There's no way you're going to starve before you dehydrate. You you need... I think there's a saying. Um, I forget what the exact number is. But I think... I want to say four? I want to say four is the number for survival. Something about you can hold your breath for four minutes. You can go without oxygen for four minutes. Without water for four days. Without food for four weeks. Uh, something like that. Oh, I, I do know that you're going you're gonna to dehydrate way faster than you're going to starve. So, although maybe that... Oh, fucking bear. Although maybe that's not good for this game because the water sources seem to be, you know, few and far in between. But uh, you get my drift. Maybe once we get the, maybe once we get the uh, renewable water source in the game, uh, you can make it so we we'll dehydrate before we, before we starve because that doesn't make much sense. And it's not just you, Cold Games. They do it in all of these early access games. Every freaking one of them. Goddamn bear. Go screw. Alright, there's a timer. We're gonna do a little bit more hunt. We're gonna do a little bit more farming here, and then we're gonna look for a place. Actually, we should have. We're, we're not gonna be setting up our base right now, anyway. So we'll do a little bit. Wait, shh. That's a lockbox, by the way. Alright, just give me one second, guys. I need to be quiet for this. Because I feel like I'm not alone. Let's 
see if he, yep, okay. Sometimes they just turn around and walk the other way. Okay, beautiful. All right, so uh, I'm going to go look for a place. Actually, yeah, it's almost nighttime. I should find a place to stay. All right, I'm gonna find a. I'm gonna find a place to stay. I'm gonna make a campfire. Uh, we're gonna need two sticks for the campfire, so let me go ahead and make those now. You do need wood for the campfire. It looks like I'm gonna have a pretty decent amount of wood for the campfire. I just don't know where I'm gonna stay because it's kind of random. Like the animals just wander everywhere, so I'm not really sure where to stay f for the night. Oh, hold on, chest. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. This doesn't look familiar. Is this the new part of the map that's been opened? I mean, granted, I haven't played this game that much, but this really does not look familiar. I wonder. Huh. Well, I guess this looks like a good a spot as any. I'd like to get up on the... Uh, yeah, this might have been opened up, because you see the fence right there. I do like to stay near the fence when I'm not building a base. All right, this looks like a good a spot as any. Let's go ahead and make the campfire. And uh, stay here for the night. I could probably shoot that chicken and cook him up on the campfire. Uh, you know, I could probably do that. Eh. Yeah, whatever, let him go. It's fine. We don't have any protein, though. Probably be okay through the night. We can do one of these. If you don't have a campfire uh, for the nighttime, you will you will freeze to death. Uh, it's very cold in the game. So, cold games, very cold in his game. What can he say, you know? Alright, so I guess we're good here. Alright, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit more wood, and we are going to call it here. Good luck with the giveaway, guys. Like I said, this is going to be going up on Friday. Episode 2 will be going up on Saturday. I'll be doing a giveaway for both, and they will both the giveaway will both be on Sunday. So do not wait to get in your entries. All right, so we're gonna call this one here. Uh, next episode, we're definitely gonna we're definitely gonna build our base. I need to find a place for it, and then we're gonna build it. So we're gonna call this one. Uh, you know what? Let me show you how to deal with the fire before we go. All right, so we got the fire right here. I'm gonna split this into five. You put it in the fuel spot. It loads the fuel up. You put the matches in the ignition, and that's what you use to start it. I'm going to wait until it actually starts getting cold, and I'm just going to be hanging out here. So that's going to be it for episode one. I'll see you next time for episode two. Till then, take it easy.